I thought I would share with you my staple hair products because although I review a bunch of different things and I love to try new things and see what things can become a staple, I have certain things that I have repurchased again and again that I know work for my hair and that I absolutely love. There's only one product in here that is new, but it is definitely gonna be a staple, so I'm just gonna mention it here. So this is my current staple hair products. The first one I've harped on about 101 times, so you must know what's coming. It's the Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Restorative Conditioner. This thing is amazing. I use it as a leave-in conditioner and mainly now as a moisturizer. Slather it on my hair, then use a sealant on top. I just think it's perfect, it works so well. And it's a shame because the mask does not work well for my hair. I may revisit it in the future, but on the first time I tried it and I did finish it. I hated it every time I used it, but the conditioner is brilliant. It doesn't really provide too much slip, but it just absorbs so perfectly well. So I absolutely love this. Second to that, I really love the Raw Shea Butter Moisture Retention Shampoo, and I'll leave a link down below to my shampoo routine. This is my favorite shampoo. I obviously don't shampoo often, but it's my favorite one because it does have this weird slip to it, so you can almost detangle whilst cleansing. I think it works so well, cleans my scalp well without stripping it because it doesn't have sulfates in it. And yeah, free from all the nasties and it costs around 10 to 12 pounds from Boots. So pretty good considering I don't use it often, so it lasts really well. We're just gonna continue with the Shea Moisture theme. The Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Mask. Now, I do not use this as a deep moisturizing mask or moisturizing conditioner. I use this because I feel like my hair, I used to always use loads of protein on my hair, but I found like for a long time my hair just didn't really need it. It wasn't reacting quite well. So I personally feel like my hair is quite strong to begin with. So if I need some pro protein, I do have a protein conditioner or I'll just throw in some mayonnaise. But if I really want something to strengthen my hair or restore it, I will use this. This is my favorite thing ever. It kind of has a really nice caramel smell. I think it just really works. Like I always feel like my hair is nourished and it's ready to start again and face the elements. So love this. I haven't actually tried anything else in the Jamaican Black Castor Oil line. So if you have, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. This next thing gets an honorable mention. It is a staple and I feel like I should talk about it. It's high end, so it's not for everybody, but it is the Ojon Pre Poo Treatment. Their, I'm not sure how, what the actual name is. Yeah, their restorative hair treatment. This is the plus kind, and it is the bigger version. So yeah, it is expensive. I think it's about 36 pounds, but let me tell you, when I went to Boots and this gentleman approached me, I was like, what do you use on your hair? And you know, I'm just like, oh, whatever. He gave me a sample of this and that was when I first went natural and it seemed like nothing was working for my hair. Nothing was absorbing or getting the moisture in or nothing. So he gave me a sample of the Ojon product, the oil. I used it, brilliant. It just kick-started my natural hair journey. It meant that products really absorbed into my hair. It restored my hair. It felt moisturized, healthy, strong. I just really think this is one of those high-end products that it's worth investing in. They have a smaller one for 18 pounds, but see if you can sneak a sample and try it for yourself, because I really do recommend it as a kind of pre-poo or hot oil treatment. So this next one is the new thing that has become my staple. If you've seen my wash and go routine, I will leave that down below. So many gels have failed me, okay? I have Eco Styler Gel and I like Eco Styler Gel. Price point, amazing, right? And I have the Blueberry Bliss Curl Control Paste. Kind of smooths my, smooths my edges, but it doesn't really slick them down, or keep them down for very long. But this, oh, this is the real deal. Okay, the real MVP. Really thick, it has a kind of vanilla scent, but it doesn't cling to you. So if you're adverse to scents, don't worry too much. But it really is, curl control, that is the truth. It really does just hold it so well, smooths my edges if I need it to. It's just the perfect gel, I think, for my hair type. So I've still got the sample and a little bit goes a long way because I've done several wash and goes and it's lasted, but I'm definitely going to invest and get the bigger size. That's the Crown Pride Naturals Curl Control Styling Puree. 
My next staple is one of my own, my DIY oil mix. So I put it in this plastic bottle, but it does not last very long because I'm using it on a regular basis. I will also leave the video down below as to what's in this. It helps with my edges, my scalp. I like to do scalp massages to stimulate growth. If I don't really want a heavy sealant, but I just want something to oil my ends, I will use this. Brilliant. I think everyone should have at least one little DIY thing. One little concoction of your own favorite things that really work for your hair. Just create something. Um, yeah, this oil mix really works for me. So I like to try and use it once a week. But if my edges feel a little bit fragile, I'll use it every night. Last but not least, my shea butter mixture or shea butter cream, whatever you want to call it. This has got shea butter, coconut oil, wheat germ oil and lemongrass oil. I chose those specific things because of their properties and what I was looking to get out of my hair. So that's what I would recommend you guys do if you are looking to create something, choose your favorite things and look for things that you want from your hair. Do you want to stimulate growth? So maybe you want to use rosemary oil. Do you need something a bit heavy? So shea butter or cocoa butter. Do you want something that's going to stop protein loss, coconut oil, etc. So that's why I've put that put this stuff in here and I can add a few drops of anything else I need. This is my sealant. So I always moisturize with this or water or both using water, then this conditioner, and then I will seal it all in with this bad boy. It's got a light hold to it, so it does add some definition, adds shine, it's nourishing and all natural. I know what's inside it, so that's the best way to go. You may have noticed I don't really have a staple leave-in conditioner or a staple moisturizing conditioner. I have a few things that I like, like Giovanni's Smoother Silk Deeper Moisture Conditioner. I have purchased that like two or three times and I do think it really works, but I'm just looking for that holy grail. I'm just looking for that oomph. So I haven't quite found it yet. If I buy something, it's always gonna be a conditioner because I always wanna see what effect it's gonna have on my hair. I want to find something detangling, moisturising, penetrating, slightly in between heavy and light. You know, I have really um, clear things of what I want from it. Uh, those are my current staple products. Let me know what your staple products are in the comments down below. I hope this video has helped and given an insight into what I actually use because although I may spend a bit extra money on certain things, majority of my stuff is drugstore or homemade. Um, I just like to review a bunch of things for you all. So I hope this video has helped. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.